Yeah, I'm gonna try this one more time and see if I've got enough storage space to do this. Um, we're talking about regulated variable power circuits. Uh, right now, I've got a couple of them sitting here that I built. This one, for instance, which I don't necessarily like the way this one's built. It's got a tip 120 and a 220 UF cap on it. And a, uh, let's see, 10K variable on it. This is the way I like to build them. They've got four wires coming out of them. You've got a tip 120. You have a 100 UF 25 volt cap coming out. Four wires, what they call a swing kit. The reason why I have all these finals sitting here, people have laid claim to this, and I'm seeing a lot of people nowadays that are thinking that they're the ones that come up with this idea, and this is a bunch of bullshit. This has been around for 25 years. You have a 1969, you have an Elaflow 1969, a CB20 watt, you have a 2166, a 2312, a 2078, a tip 31, and a tip 120. These are all, all can be used for this mod. I mean, it does not, does not make a difference either way. I mean, you can, you can, I don't know. A lot of people think that different parts make a difference. Uh, the, most people think the tip 120 is the best thing for this mod, but it's not. A 1969 works just as good. I mean, it, it makes no difference whatsoever in the real world. Wattage wise, hang on. Okay, here we go. Makes no difference either way, wattage wise in the real world. Now, what I want to show you is this mod's been around for about I graduated from high school in 1994. These books were printed in 1994. I took one of these apart back in the day just to see what I had and I've built my own ever since. But I drew this schematic. I did this 20 something years ago. I put it in a plastic sheet. I've had it ever since. That's my my makeshift schematic on how to build this right, just just for whatever and that's the poten potentiometer stuff on it go from that to this these books i know somebody's going to say oh my god don't ever use these things these are the devil yeah they are they are the devil in some sense you don't want to use the tune-up information in them, so to speak. But if anything, and you have a set of these books, it shows you what not to do when it comes to radio. That's why I keep them, because I have to undo a lot of stuff that other ignorant people have done over the years. Um, right here. Just want to show this. So everybody knows, 1994, Thomas Publishing. You can still buy a new set of these books online through Thomas Publishing. Just Google Thomas Publishing. You can buy them cheap. I think I bought them for $20 a piece back in the day, and they're, uh, I can't remember what I paid for a new set of them, but I've got two sets. I've got an old set that's about to fall apart, and I've got these. But uh, they do have a lot of good information in them. Super top, blah, 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 enables, whatever. You know, this is an advertisement for what people are laying claim to nowadays. You take that, that thing apart with the four wires in it, and it's what I've got right there. Basically, what it is, is the early ones were built with a 1969 final, just like that. That's an old one. You had a cap that the uh, 
uh, on the cap, the negative side uh, actually went to the uh, middle leg. Negative side went to the middle leg, positive side went to this leg, and then you had a four wire hookup. And like I said, I'll do it a little bit more in depth whenever I've got one that I, I haven't already heat shrink tubed up. I heat shrink tubed this one. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that, but uh, I already had that one ready to go. I've got it ready for a radio that I need to put it in. But uh, basically, all it is is a regulated variable power kit. It's a simple circuit that has been around for years. And I get tired of people laying claim to it nowadays when it's not it's not that I mean it's been around for a long long time and we're gonna put that one aside here's another manual this one's still 1994 same edition of manuals right here is a new product release super talk with variable cap power kit Cobra 29 shows you how to do it Shows where to install it in the radio. Shows everything to do with it. Anybody wants this information, I'll be glad to glad to send it to them. I'm trying to trying to stay on it long enough so people can see exactly what it is. But uh, you know, it's not nothing that's not out there. I mean, it's not nothing that you can't get. That one's in the uh, volume two issue. And then just goes to show you, I've got like all seven volumes of this book, but you know, this is actually for a, uh, a Durlin 3900. You don't see very many of these radios anymore, but that shows how to mount it in it. And then get that one out of the way. I think I've got a uh, marker in this book. Show where it's at here. Well, maybe not so easy. Let's see. Here we go. New product release Super Talk Kit with Variable Power. Union in Washington. This also works with the 142. A bunch of different radios. This has been around for years and years and years. I just want to uh, stress that to people. There's a lot of people laying claim to it nowadays and I just don't think it's right. So anyway.